Tuesday for high school sports. From sectional meets to regional rounds, it was busy. So let's get right to some of the action with track where a top three finish today gets you to state. The Division I section will take place at D.C. Everest, and we're coming out of the gates with the Speedsters, so don't blink or you might just miss it in the girls' 100-meter dash, taking second place and moving on to the state meet next week as Spash's Anna Plouts with a time of 12.76. And on to the boys' side, a tight one as well. Two more Spash Panthers, Cam Seeger and Matt Eden, just a tenth of a second off a trip to lacrosse. They finish in fourth and fifth. And the boys' 110-meter hurdles will have two representatives Representatives hoping to hoist gold on the podium. Taken first is Everest junior Blake Postler with the time of 15-13 and joining him is Wausau West Garrett Gouger. Next to the D3 sectionals just down the road in Marathon at the triple jump pit, the Marywood MVP Tegan Strite is headed to lacrosse with a third place jump of 42-9. Stratford's Connor Weigel took first place with 44-9. Marathon's Drake Carlson also moving on with a win in the mixed 1600 meter wheelchair with a time of four minutes and 49 seconds. And over at Discus, Athens' Aiden Yonke heading back to state with a massive throw of 162 feet. Marathon's freshman Chris Marcel took third place with a throw of 146. Some more Blue Jays having a day at the pole vault pit as well. The senior Ryan Peel taking first with a vault of 13.09. And his teammate Kyle Schreiner earns a fourth place finish with a 13-footer of his own. The state competitors are now locked in with the meet set to kick off next Friday, June 2nd. But as I mentioned off the top, it wasn't just track today. Regional champions were set to be crowned in softball as well. We'll start up in Division 1. 4 seed DCE hosting 5 seed Rapids. The tree's up 3-0 in the 6th. Addison Cluck making sure it stays that way. Not falling for the surprise bunt, keeps the bag clean, and Everest is on to offense, where they almost add some insurance because Jalen Mormon almost drops it but almost, almost always means nothing. It makes the catch with a little added suspense. So Rapids getting one final shot, but K's are in his honor in her name. Cluck seals the win, and DCE will face one seed superior next week. In Division Two, New London made the trek to Mosney. Defense the order of the day here as well. Kelsey Hamill, is she psychic? Looked like she knew that was coming the whole time. Impressive. But check Mix out. Jensen Mix, the Bulldog, digs it out of the dirt for the highlight reel catch, making it look routine. Also commonplace, though, the Indians' Ava Bussey getting batters to swing at Ozone, but New London gets the win. And another great Northern opponent next week in Medford. In a Marrowood Conference collision, number two, Stratford hosted number three, Edgar. It was a pitcher's duel early on. Stratford's Lanny Pankritz forcing some weak contact. Jeez. Just do it all yourself, Laney. Finally, though, the Wildcats' Ryland Mueller gets a hold of one, but it's right into the mouth of the Tigers. So Stratford now on offense. Bailey Linsmeyer smokes one up the middle. Michaela Workus had seen enough of that, though, shuts it down from there. But despite the efforts, Stratford picks up the 5-0 victory. They face top seed Auburndale next week. More Merrowood Conference action. Number three, Rib Lake took a trip to number two, Athens. Blue Jays making every play coming their way. Giselle Hartwig have a day. A double play, and the diving catch takes away a knock. But she's not the only shortstop making plays right here. Talia Schrathauer gets dirty and robs the Jays of a hit. The scoring comes soon enough for the Jays, though. Sophia Coker forces a bad throw, and Hartwig crosses home. Athens would roll from there for the big win. They get the top seed McDonald Catholic next, and we're heading to a commercial break next. We'll see you on the other side. 